Hey, FCF, good morning. We're getting ready to start a new journey. We're going to be taking most of it through Genesis, the first seven steps, first seven days, I should say. And then the very last day, we're going to go just a little bit into Exodus. But we're going to kind of look at some big events, uh, historical events, uh, mostly those that, as I said, take place in Genesis. So to get us started, uh, I'll read probably the most important verse we come to in the whole Bible. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So here we have a clear statement that there has always been a first cause, an eternal entity, an eternally, an eternally existent, intelligent personage. Now this, this defies our reasoning of cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect, but when you really think it through, something or someone, and what it had to be a someone instead of a something because someone is superior to something, had to be here originally. So here we have it. Those that say that everything came from nothing uh, are in contradiction to this clear verse. Now, when you get into the New Testament, it gets much more specific. In John's Gospel, chapter 1, for example, it says, In the beginning was the Word. This is verse, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and all things were made by Him. Verse 14, And the Word became flesh, made His dwelling amongst us. It's speaking about Christ, and it says specifically Christ is the Creator. So when we read here in Genesis 1, in the beginning God created, we now know from New Testament progressive revelation, full of revelation, it was Jesus that created. The entire rest of the New Testament uh, says that redundantly again and again. For example, in Colossians chapter 1, 16, the New Testament, it says, for by Him, meaning Christ, if you read the verses to go before, were all things created, those in heaven and on earth, and all things were created by Him, and all things were created for Him, which means that every human being was created not just by Christ, but for Him. We, we were made. He is the element that we find our truest selves in. And then I want to read you one in the book of Hebrews um, that picks up on the same theme. This is in Hebrews chapter 1, and it's verse 3. It says, The Son, meaning Jesus, is the radiance of God's glory, and the exact representation of His being, sustaining all things by His powerful Word. So here we have this phenomenon, it's so hard for us to get our heads around, where God has now made Himself smaller and more vulnerable so that He can manifest His greater greatness, meaning the, the sacrificial goodness of His character. And like it says in Colossians 2, 9, it says, all the fullness of God dwells bodily in Jesus. So in Jesus, we finally see God as He really is. The whole universe how, now has this comprehensive revelation to Him. One last one in Hebrews 11, and I want to read to you verse uh, 3, I believe it is. Let me get my bearings here. Yes, Hebrews 11, verse 3, it says, By faith or trust, that is a Greek word, um, pistis, it means trust, confidence, reliance. By faith or trust, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, now get this part, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Now, this is an important scientific statement because it's saying that God's pure thought is the origination of matter. M matter w was not pre-existent. Aristotle, uh, you know, fabricated that, you know, the universe always existed, the matter always existed, but, but that's just not so. And now with the Big Bang, in the Hubble telescope, we know there was a point in time where nothing, <laughs> nothing at all existed. So here we have the source. It says that God, pure thought, pure spirit, which is what thought is, He spoke and everything came into existence. So here we have the foundation of reality. Every human being functions on reality. The, the reality that we possess may not be accurate, but we make all our decisions based on that picture of reality. We, uh, we do develop our, our value system all based on that picture of reality. And here's the ultimate reality. In the beginning, God, a personal being, created all that we see. And you go and read it, and He made it all. He made it all for us. It, it, was, uh, it was this grand gift, the greatest of all, that He made us in His own image so that we could experience life on the level that He Himself does. Thank you for being with me on this first day of our journey where we're looking at big events in Genesis. Mm -hmm.